Hey, are you worried about your exams? No? Then bye. If you are then, welcome. This is the ultimate guide on how to study for GCSEs and A-levels in the next two weeks. Hi you, this is the gist of the plan. I'll explain more about it in a minute. It's a simple problem that even the top students need help with. This is student D. He has done two exams already, but he is awaiting majority of his exams in the next few weeks. What follows is a live consultation that I had with him yesterday, where I break down how his next weeks should be managed. When's your next psychology paper? The fifth. And biology is the seventh. seventh I think. So follow along and hopefully you can learn something which you can apply to your situation. What I would do now is I would focus on bio three and chem two. Yeah, those yeah. are pretty squashed together. I think bio two is pretty good. You do have that bio two. I think so I have four days. You're probably starting to realize that's a long time when you're just yeah. purely intensively yeah. revising for that kind of a subject. So the next few days you want to focus on bio three, chem three and chem two. Those three papers, the ones that are towards yeah. the end, which are squashed. That's what you should be doing. So what I'm saying to student D is that he should focus on the problem areas for his exams. So these are the exams towards the end. It depends on obviously you, you, you need to make your own judgment call here about how good you are at bio one and psychology three. How are they? How's your... Yeah, uh, I was speaking to Han about this actually, as in like with, since I've been focusing on psych so much, I feel like I've forgotten some of bio maybe, since mm -hmm. a lot of it's like memorization and recall, whereas with like chem, like I feel like once I know something for chem, I don't really forget it. So you're saying you've forgotten a lot of biology? Yeah. I definitely then like I think the Thursday and the Friday you do need to spend like significant time on bio one. Probably even do a bit now. Like I'm not saying you're only doing bio three and chem three and chem two. Yeah. But that's really your main priority and focus. And then Thursday and Friday you're gonna give some attention to bio. Maybe you could even do bio a bit on Saturday morning. Depends on how you're doing on Psych 3. And how are you on it? It's like notorious for the hardest paper. Yeah. So yeah, I'll let you make the judgment call, but I'm giving you a rough ballpark figure. I then walk him through the plan once Psych 3 is done. Yeah. Monday afternoon, all of Tuesday, and for Wednesday morning a bit, you're basically going to do bio 1. And then you've got chem 1, which is four days. So chem 1 is 12th, right? So you've got 7th is the Wednesday, right? So you've got... Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I think that's a lot of time to prep for Chem 1. As time passes, the plan changes which subjects become the priority. You may drop in a little session on Wednesday afternoon to do one of the other subjects. Depends on how you're feeling. If you're not at that 90 plus percent stage, sorry, then you just focus on Chem 1. So hopefully, in terms of scheduling, you should get the point and be able to apply this to your own situation. Let's finish the schedule and see if you can guess what I'm going to suggest next. After Chem 1 is a bit obvious, you would do yeah. Bio 2 for the next three, four days, and then yeah. you would do basically yeah. Chem 2, and then you'd have a one and a half day for Chem 3 and one and a half day for Chem, sorry, Bio 3 or whichever way around they are. So that means Chem 3 and Bio 3, you don't have time. So that's why today, tomorrow, the next few days, it's important, yeah? Now, it's great having the perfect schedule and prioritizing the right subjects, but what good is it if we don't know what to do with that time? Why have the papers stopped? Uh, I've done a few. I seem to upload some, but like I said, I've just been focusing on psychology. So this is exactly how you do the papers. I need you to open up the papers and have the mark scheme right next to it. And as you're going along, any questions that you do not know, you need to make a note of that. The answers you've got to try to understand. So here's the problem where most of you have been getting stuck. You guys have been telling me that this method, you're struggling to apply this to newer papers that you're doing. Well, the reason for that is you are not decontextualizing the answer. You see, the answer is provided for a specific question in a specific scenario. But there is an underlying general principle that they are testing. And that is what you need to learn. So you need to decontextualize and you need to learn that decontextualized version. So you're going to jot that down on your cheat sheet, so the key points, and then you're going to memorize that. And then that's what you're going to apply to your exam situation. This is the way that papers can help without you having the knowledge of the content. It's all about getting that volume in and that cheat sheet. You should have yeah. a cheat sheet which kind of gives you that sense of confidence, like the things that you are prone to forgetting. And if you mm -hmm. if you go over that the day before, you're like, ah, oh, these are the points that I keep making a mistake on. Maybe one, two, three, four sides. If you can condense it into that, then you have the confidence that, look, I've memorized this, I've wrote, learned this. 
I've used flashcards or whatever method of memorization. We aren't done yet. Uh, 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 yeah, thank you for the subscribers, 2K, thank you. But we aren't done yet. There is a vital part that is missing. It's examiner's reports. I think I mentioned that about psychology to you before. Yeah. So hopefully you've been using that. And yeah. it is more useful for psychology than it is for chem and bio, but still, if you're going for top grades, you should be looking at the examiner's report. Be sure to subscribe because I'm about to